Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chris back once again with another video. And many of you asked how to install Android P developer preview. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do so. Um, I've already installed it obviously onto my Pixel. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll leave the link down in the description. Um, so I'm gonna, there's two technically ways on how to install this. One, it, you're gonna wipe all of your data on your phone and will also require you to have an unlocked bootloader. So that is uh, gonna be used if let's say you're coming from a custom ROM, that sort of thing. Um, second is through an uh, basically ADB side load, which will keep all of your information and you won't lose anything. Um, so basically an OTA update. Now there's caveats to both. One I mentioned, you're gonna lose all your data. You have to unlock the bootloader. Um, so there's definitely a lot more involved though. The second one, the side load, um, if let's say you're using a Verizon model, you can use that, but you can't revert back. So just a fair bit of warning, just because you can't have your bootloader unlocked. Um, so I will go ahead and just show you guys how to do the ADB side load first. You want to go ahead and turn on developer options. And then go ahead and just turn uh, turn on USB debugging. Go ahead and plug your phone in. You're gonna to want to obviously um, download the the OTA image, which can be found in this thread right here on Reddit. Thank you to the original poster, Tornado fifteen fifty five zero. So download, um, again, this is only for pixels. This won't work on Nexus 6P or 5X. And also you are gonna wanna make sure that you are on uh, the uh, latest March security patch before you do this, otherwise it will not work. So make sure you take any, um, just go ahead and just check your phone. If you have an update, if you're on the March security patch, you're good to go. Let's so go ahead and download that. Um, and then go ahead and uh, what I like to do is actually just rename the file to something easy to type and I just put p um, dot zip. You want to have ADB and Fastboot set up. Um, since we have USB debugging our device will show up here on the screen and we can go ahead and just do ADB reboot recovery. All right, we are now in recovery. So what we're gonna need to do is just hold down the power and press the volume up button to get our menu. And what we're gonna wanna do is go down with the volume buttons to apply update from ADB. Press the power button to select. And now we can see here ADB side load. So what we can also then do is do ADB devices And here we can see that the device is in sideload mode. So in order to install this OTA sideload zip, adb sideload space p dot zip. Since that's the name I uh, chose, you can choose whatever you want. You can leave it the same, just press enter, and then it'll automatically go ahead and start installing. So we can go ahead and just do that. See, and we can see here it is starting to install it's going to take a couple minutes it's going to take a couple minutes so we'll be right back once that is done now i do just want to iterate everyone that just in case i always recommend to back up your phone before you're doing anything like this just in case something doesn't go right you can at least have any backed up information that's on your phone um, so make sure you do that before you begin this entire process all right everyone so now we do see here install from ADB is complete. It'll say total X for two times. Um, just wanna let you guys know that the reason why my uh, command prompt looks different is because I actually uninstalled something when I paused the video um, and it actually aborted my whole install process. So that's why it just looks a little bit different now. Um, so now if we just go ahead and reboot system, the phone will then reboot and it might just take a minute just to do the first reboot but everything will still be intact all of your information things like that as we can see here android beta and there you go guys so 
again, if you have a Verizon model Pixel uh, or Pixel 2, then if you do this uh, ADB sideload, you won't be able to revert back just because um, in order to revert back, you do require an unlock bootloader to flash the factory images. So just bear that in mind. Um, and then the factory image method, you do have to have the unlocked bootloader, both the, the bootloader and the critical um, partitions. Um, and then flashing will also wipe your, your, uh, your data there. Um, so there you go, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. I'll leave all the links in the description, what you need, where to find them. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you thought this was helpful. Hopefully if it was, I'm glad. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.